We've got a new joint venture partnership in the HVAC industry. I want to talk about what that partnership is, who's involved, and why you might care about it. Why you, as someone that's buying heating and air systems, even cares about this. This is nothing new. We've seen across our industry multiple brands out there doing different partnerships. We've seen Train and Mitsubishi do a joint venture. We've seen Ream and Fujitsu to get together on some things. We've seen Carrier work with a number of other brands over the years and recently acquiring Toshiba, or at least acquiring a certain part of their HVAC business or technology. Not really sure. A lot of these companies will keep these sorts of things hush-hush. They don't necessarily want it to be known that they're going to be producing or selling a piece of equipment when it's actually manufactured by another company and just putting their sticker on there. And so that's something we see a lot of these companies do. But over the last, I'd say, five to 10 years, we've seen a number of these joint ventures that these companies are doing where well-known brands that we know that we've seen for decades now partnering with other companies, partnering at times with companies from overseas because maybe they offer a technology that perhaps this American brand just doesn't or hasn't ever. And so the two companies that have partnered recently are Linux and Samsung. So two very well-known brands, Linux being an American company traditionally over the last century or more. They are based in Texas and have had their share of ups and downs over the years. And then, of course, Samsung being a Korean company, we've all seen them sell cell phones and appliances and an array of other products. What's interesting about this is, again, we see these companies doing these different types of partnerships. And the question becomes, why? Why would Ream want to work with Fujitsu or why would Train want to work with Mitsubishi? And in this case, Linux with Samsung. Usually when we see those partnerships in place, it's usually these companies don't offer something that the other company does. And so I'm going to dive into this a little bit deeper, but I think the main thing we're seeing here, as far as I can tell, just from what I've found on the articles I've been reading, is Linux has the distribution side of things. They've got this network of contractors and so on. And then Samsung is bringing in the ductless, the variable refrigerant technologies that we've seen a lot of the Asian countries specialize in. So these brands have a choice. They can either do sort of what Daikin has done, and that is hire a bunch of engineers and invent or figure out these sorts of technologies, or you can do what Linux has done and just work with someone that has already done that. And so let me disclose, because the FTC says I have to, Daikin has sponsored some of our content on our YouTube channel. But moving Moving on, the article I found says that these companies are going to now offer a mini split, multi split and VRF technology here in the US and Canada, and that the joint venture is now going to be called Samsung Linux HVAC North America with Samsung owning 50.1% of the new venture and Linux owning 49.9%. Why they did that, I don't know. I just think it's funny that somebody's got to be in charge here. So it's the company that has the technology side of things and perhaps the manufacturing versus the American well-known brand name and their distribution. So Samsung's in charge here. They've owned a little bit more of the company Barely. Also, their name comes first, if that matters, in the name of the new venture. It says that they will be distributing Samsung ductless AC and heat pump products in the U.S. and Canada, as well as, quote, Linux powered by Samsung, unquote, branded products. OK, so that's interesting to point out. But the other thing that I thought was interesting with all this is it goes on to say that Linux will purchase the VRF and low GWP mini split and multi split products from the joint venture. So it's almost they've done this new company or venture, if you will, this partnership, and now Linux will be purchasing their products from that new venture. It's almost like they've inserted themselves as a another middleman in this plethora of middlemen between the manufacturer and the end consumer for these products. I just thought that was a little interesting as well. Will it mark the price up that much? Probably not, but I just thought that was interesting the way that's been structured. It finally goes on to say that this is very new during the writing of this article that I found. It says that they are now looking to appoint 
the CEO and CFO for this new business, new venture, and the new operations and headquarters for it will be in Roanoke, Texas. It's interesting how these companies structure these deals. It points out that Linux will be purchasing these products from the new venture. It says that the venture will be also supplying Samsung branded products to the existing Samsung HVAC distributors and representatives in the United States and Canada. The way they worded that, it doesn't say that Samsung will be purchasing from the new venture. Maybe it has no need to. I don't know. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting. In this world where we see all these different partnerships, the other thing that I always wonder about these partnerships is when you see these companies doing this, I'm sure they're great. I'm sure it's great for the industry. And, you know, we don't want to see monopolies, right? We want to see lots of competition and we want to see brands trying to be innovative and come out with better and better technologies and all that. Right. But I always wonder when I see these partnerships is when you see a brand like Linux partner with Samsung, if they would have rather have partnered with one of these brands that already partnered with somebody, right? So Mitsubishi, who partnered with Train, would Linux have rather partnered with them, right? They would rather have partnered with Mitsubishi, but they're already taken, right? Or Ream and Fujitsu is now partnered together on some things. And would Linux say that they would have rather partnered with Fujitsu? Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm just talking out loud, but I just I always think that that's interesting when you see companies doing that. I always thought that about the Ream and Fujitsu thing. Would, would Ream have rather partnered with Mitsubishi? It's just interesting. Let me know your thoughts. Comment down below. If you like this video and subscribe to our channel, I'll do my best to respond to all of the comments left for this video. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about the new R32 refrigerant that some of the brands are going to be putting in their heating and air systems and five facts that you should know about it. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.